Okay, so today I wanted to really talk about who you've worked with and to get to know the, the characters really of the, uh, the fighters. Um, so first of all, let's start with um, probably one of your biggest names you work with currently, Tyson Fury. Um, I know you worked with him for the second Wilder fight, that's where we met out in Vegas. Um, let's talk about Fury. What, what is Tyson like? Well, as a person, he's, uh, he's awesome, you know, uh, just to be around him. Uh, it's, uh, you just never know what to expect. <laughs> so, you know, always got to keep your hands up, but, uh, such a positive, positive note, you know, and, uh, just, just a fun guy to be with. And, you know, that's what makes my job so interesting. It's not about the title fights anymore. It's about the characters. And I think, you know, I've mentioned that to you before and, uh, Tyson definitely fits up on top of the totem pole when it comes to, uh, different personalities. With Tyson, we see the, you know, he's a very jovial character. He likes to, uh, crack a lot of jokes. He can also be very serious when he needs to be. Is he like that off camera as well? Yeah, you know, that's a good question. And uh, yeah, you're right. You know, when uh, walking into the gym, I, I don't know what Tyson Fury uh, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna be seeing or running into, you know, the guy that's going to be joking around and uh, or the guy that, uh, you know, is taking uh, his training serious. Uh, let me rephrase that. He's always taking his training serious, you know, and I always said, uh, a lot of the fighters, you know, during a three minute round, you know, they'll kind of bullshit a little bit and talk to you and take a break. Tyson Fury, whether he's shadow boxing, whether he's jumping rope, whether he's hitting the bag, whether he's talking to you, he's always putting in those three minutes worth of work. So, and, you know, that shows me a lot of the discipline. But uh, yeah, he's just a character, man. Like, I don't know if you saw the video uh, where we're all strumming guitars and, you know, playing a, you know, uh, after, after one of his workouts, he's jamming to, to some rock and roll and I'm sitting at the other side of the gym and Sugar starts like he's playing the drums and he calls me over, Stitch, come here. I said, oh shit, now I gotta go over there and pretend like, uh, like I'm a musician, right? Like I'm Carlos Santana. So I grab my air guitar and they start jamming and you know, that's the kind of character he is, you know? So it is nice to be involved with him. You mentioned for you, it's not about the title fights, no, it's about the characters. Is Tyson one of the guys who, keeps you coming back to the day job, keeps you working still at this age? Yeah, you know, not only Tyson Fury, but the team around him. You know, they're all good people, man. And, you know, they all have the same goal, and that's uh, to give Tyson Fury 150% of our time. And, uh, yeah, that's what makes it fun. It's no, you know, no no, no eagles or nothing like that. They all, we're, we're like a clock, a Swiss clock, where everything is set in its pattern, and, if they all work and work together, then we got a pretty good unit. In terms of um, Tyson and working with Tyson, um, you mentioned the team there as well. Just how important is it for you to be a part of the team as such? Oh, yeah, it's a great honor. You know, uh, it, it really puts me in the dimension of where I am as a cut man. You know, for me to come in under those circumstances, uh, you know, when he got cut that first time and, uh, coming into the the next fight, you know, then uh, they wanted uh, somebody of you know that that could work cuts, and and I had to be the chosen one. And you know, walking into the gym, I see Tyson, and he's at the ringside, and I'm walking through the doors, and he stands up and and says, "The best cut man in boxing, Jacob Stitch Duran," and comes up and shakes my hand, and you know, so that's the kind of welcome that I got. But yeah, to me, it's it's, it's a pleasure, and then. You know, when, when I work with guys like Vladimir Klitschko, you know, Anthony uh, uh, Joshua beat him in the last fight, but so did Tyson Fury, you know, and, and it's not about, uh, what's the word I want? It's not about competition, you know. I know Vladimir Klitschko knows that, you know, for me to get honored to get called by Tyson Fury to do what I do is, is, is a feather in his cap because he had me for 10 years, you know. So he knows I'm here for the safety of the fighters. In terms of last one on Tyson Fury, in terms of him being such a character, have you ever worked with anyone just like Tyson Fury? No, <laughs> no, not, not, not through the whole pictures, you know, skill wise, you know, talent wise. Yeah, that's for sure. But when it comes to uh, uh, personality, he could have his own Tyson Fury show and, and do pretty good with it. You know, that's, that's just his personality. And that's, that, that's what makes it so, so much fun, you know, for him to come in with a strong, heavy accent you know, for him just to be joking around and, and uh, it's, it's quite serious, but once he, you know, gets down to business, it's, it's all business. And that's what I respect a lot about him. 